Good day, mates. This is your boy, Mommy Gunner Who here. And welcome to more Let's Play Tag 2 Bush Rescue for the Game Boy Lads. Episode 4. So, yeah, in the last episode, we just destroyed a bunch of robots and a dinosaur cyborg, and now it's just gonna round up some sheep dogs because apparently we're a Tasmanian sheep dog. <laughs> what, super happy, fun sheep dog? I don't know. Big, super happy, fun, fun time. Oh. Whatever that Japanese level is called for the Simpsons game, and. Hang so, boys, I would knew it. There was a picture box there. <laughs> uh, ow. Oh dear. Now, I can't wish the game did. <laughs> did that all the time. I don't know. Yeah, there's a picture frame there. I'll get later. And I wish I stepped slipping over the platforms. I don't mind having momentum in my controls, I really don't, I think. But I just hate when the momentum makes me slip off plans all the a time. Oh, look at you, Mario 1. Uh, I, I don't know. Now, oh, now I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I got two other crocodiles to find out. Oh, here's one. Come on. God. Oh good, they're both right here. God, I wish I was a lock-on feature in a GBA game. I know this is a 2D game, but I still know it's going to have a lock-on feature or an auto-aim feature. Come on, Chrome Studios. Oh, there you go. Now we got at least one motorbike in this LP. Hey guys, every one of y'all please just has always gotta have a motorbike pass it through because of course it does. Okay. Come on, keep going. Nope, nope. Once I don't we wanna be warped somewhere. Yeah. Good lord. Come on. Go, I got other places to be. Go! Oh, keep going! Come on! It's a good thing there's no enemies for me to worry about. Come on! Go! Okay! Thanks, you Peter Fu- No, that was uncalled for, I apologize. Okay, and the game froze. I think the whistlers are down here anyway, so yeah. Next up, the city of industry. Hi, Julius. Remarkable entire building. It's a fine smirk of you. That's plotty art. <laughs> what was that? Hello, I am Professor Julius, and for some reason I sound like Mario. What? <laughs> Bam 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 so yeah, I no idea what this city of industry is for. I guess this is cast his own scrap brain zone, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm really glad Ty that the evil villain in these tie games is not an evil mass scientist, because, you know, that at this point, that would be cliche than done. You know, Boss Cast might as well be evil mass scientist, honestly, but. In fact, he's, he's an ostrich and not a typical, I don't know, human being. It's 
time forward. He's not... It's not Dr. Eggman, it's not Dr. Cortex. So he might as well be Dr. Cortex, because he's retained his own minions. Kind of like Cortex, I don't know. Hmm. So I'm still unsurprised that I don't see much banner of Ty and Tiny Tiger. Kind of, you know, as they're both Tesmanian and Ty, I think. I mean, there's one comic about it, but that's really it. Just I don't see surprise, really. I, I don't know. I don't know. Picture thing here! <laughs> yes, thanks, game. And that was there when the year matches the current year. Well, in this case, the last year, it's not the current year. And now we're far, far in the future. Oh, I know. And okay, these things we do like the Devon Grip straight out of Scrap Brain, so. <laughs> the name's Sonic. Sonic the Tasmanian Hedgehog, what? And. Why didn't I jump? There we go. The skyscraper is everywhere. Yeah, I think I have no idea. It just takes place in the past or the future. This this world makes little no sense. Okay. Okay. Now you got doors that spawn in enemies. That's just great. Hey, you. Hey. Nope. Screw you. He's got a piece of paw here. Change this isn't Zelda. So, maybe we bring this thing to see tie with sword. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, there we no, I don't know. Give me you. Uh, don't worry, these things will not squish you. Uh, no. Uh, get back down here. Okay, hop on. What secrets do you hide? An open bag. But hey, I see a bullet be there, so that's good. Go. Hey, yeah, she got all the abilities in this level. That's the first. Okay, let's keep climbing up here. Here we go. You. you. Oh my God! Please. Jesus. Yeah. When the doors are still blinking red, they'll still spawn enemies, but once it goes black, it'll then it'll stop spawning enemies, so there we go. So hopefully they don't spawn infinitely, which I'm very glad about. Anyways, I think we're at the end now. Yeah, here's the you're here, destroy it and Huh. Okay, we saw got a Metroid self-destruct countdown sim similar thing here. Well, without no countdown, thankfully. So yeah, actually got to get out of here about dying. Jane is no intense music playing here. I know. Da 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 Ugh. That's not to what sound this goes through. Okay, so that's done. I think this is the last level left to go. Maybe, I don't know. Tree Tangle, hey Dennis! 
Oh, Clarence got lost again? Why well, am I not surprised? Sure, I'll rescue your wimpy nephew. I mean, he is as wimpy as yourself, Dennis. Okay. So here we have three tangle and uh, also the game wants you to swing through those hooks with your last one to ignore the park dolls, but we you don't need to do that. That way you can just jump over the park dolls and you know can be have tank damage. I mean playing mean, common with uh, with how unreliable the last ones are, why do I even should I even bother? Okay. And mm, I hate vertical platforming segments because one mess up, you gotta do it all the way from the bottom. No, Hank is not that long way, really, but I mean, you got, did you guys, did you gonna do a long, a long vertical platforming section like that? Then please, or lower guard, put checkpoints because no one wants to climb the whole thing up on the bottom every time they make a mistake. It's not fun, it's repetitive and boring. Anyways. All it needs to take care of. Oh. Oh, I love this Game Boy Advance, Advance remix of the Walk in the Park theme. Yeah, soundtrack. I mean, soundtrack in this game is always pretty good. It's just Game Boy fied fights of original songs from Taiwan and two. So yeah, and actually, I believe this, the GBA games are actually not made by Cone Studios themselves. So I bet they have heavy supervision or something. No, I believe these were developed by Hard Brick Studios, which I never really heard of before. I might have to look in and see what they do. Who knows? They just did like shovelware GPA games or something. I don't know. Hey! Stupid platforms of stupid water! Okay. Uh, it should be nearly there. And more pulls. But I don't see anything. Bugger. Sorry that honey get hit in the background, I don't know what it's all about, so I know apologies, but again like I said, the ca the cars outside my house just won't shut the heck up. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, we just saw Clarence stairway, so that means we're pretty close. Okay. But it's probably sounding like a mob I can use to go, so... Okay, I think he's gone anyway. Sorry about that, but... Ugh. Oh, I can't... There was so many feel... I can't hide a, a motorbike tries to choose to be loud and obnoxious. <sighs> Should be near there. Let's get a bit of this crap. So, go down here! Gee, hang, it's not like I was gonna do that anyway. Ugh. And <laughs> second boss time already. Jeez, I got through this second chapter pretty quickly, honestly. Ugh. Like once again, I'm forced to take all these thrills because because the GPA port is worse than the console version, so. I don't know. Just 
don't know why Kendrick can just ignore these. Okay, Fluffy Fighter. For some reason, a GP port, the second and third bosses kind of gets swapped with each other. So we're not going to see the Nanobot thing for a while. So it's in that the Nanobot thing is the third boss in the GP port, as opposed to the console what version, which is the second. So, do I see why it's been swapped around? But okay. So, yeah, so basically, you just gotta. What you gotta do, basically, you just gotta be even letting me crap out Fluffy. But she really does not really do any thing to, to defend herself. Oh, what's up with this, I guess. Yeah, thankfully I got no stupid drop shits to deal with or no healing, really giant robots to deal with as well. So I'm way ahead of her now. God, hey, you know this that does loop over, so that's good. Go. Come on, get. Come on, you bitch. <laughs> Bodies again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Mm. Mm, come on. Stop running away and fight like a woman. <sighs> Here. She's pathetic in this GPA port. She doesn't put up much of a fight, really. There we go. More glitchiness of Zeus. How dare you beat me up? Oh, yeah. The stain of the exists. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should actually examine it, I think. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. This is why I'm game from here. Yeah. Now in chapter 3, and yeah, so chapter 3, so I assume we got more new boomerangs and another stupid bunyip to, to buy because we can get through the game without it, so, oh hey, can I sit? Hi baby! And thanks, thanks for the actually helpful tip, Alex. Yeah, I think I said this before, but you talk to Dennis and a lot of times we'll unlock a bunch of bonus missions that we did not do know that exist before. It's getting stupid, stupid, stupid. What can you do? Uh. Alright, what's the chip on you? I don't even know it's even in the console version. Version, actually, so. Huh. We got a GPA exclusive bunyip. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I thought which one was the console one though. Anyways, now we got the Mega Wang and the Cypher Wang. Right, now we can buy those. Oh, and I can buy a Love Wang too, but yeah. So, what should I buy? Well, also you'll buy the Mega a Wang first, since that's the, like the strongest Boo Wang here. I'll buy a Special Wang too, and I'll buy the Fossey Wang. And of course, the Freeze Wang pops up in its place. So okay. Now you tell how these Boomerangs work. The Freezer Wang puts out fires, and the Smash Wang does that, okay. And the Mega Wang, yeah, I'm gonna do some Mega Wangs from now on. They're clearly the most powerful Boomerangs in the game as of right now. Okay. Alright. Okay, so. Now. Oh, why are you pipe sending away through the game? Okay, cool. So let, I'll just go through the, the jet bunny up tutorial first and then I'll just end the episode off here. And of course it crashed again. 
Mm, here it is. Get this out of the way. So here's the GPA exclusive bunny up here. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's see what this baby can do here. Whoa! So yeah, it can jump really high up in the air, actually. And it can jump an infinite amount of times. And why wasn't this in the console game? This bunny is actually pretty darn awesome and really helpful, actually. Why wasn't this in main game? I mean, come on. <laughs> in the console version, we got the Super Wii instead. Super Wii sucks. This is way better here. This is definitely a lot more fun to play around. You can just sit. You can sit through it out really fast with this thing. So, yeah. So, it's a shame that the inferior version of Tide 2 has the better exclusive bun yet. Absolutely typical. This is way better than a stupid supper wing. And oh. Locked by gate. Uh well, I guess I'll press the bar on here too. There we go. Okay, and now let's exit out the tutorial area. Yeah. Oh, I want that opal bag. Thank you. No one ever. There's no stupid notification. And another notification. Ignore that too. Okay, more glitchy cutscenes. Mutated reptiles. And that's it. And okay, and the next cells are here. Cyrus is tied, huh? Oh, so it's, it was you who created America, not Boss Cass. And apparently he's gone insane, so... Ah, uh, I guess society is somewhat significant. So I guess... The Metal Sonic ripoff has more significance to the GBA port, but not by much. He only... He only appears on like this level and the uh, final boss we and that's it, so Blech. So whatever. Next time let's play Tai Two with GPA, which I'll be doing the first set of levels in this game, so it's Wagahoo, and I'll see you next time. See you later people.